Now we're going to look at real life application, a real life application of solving two linear equations by graphing. So let's take an example one of a salesperson person's income. And example two is going to be also a salesperson's income. Okay, but they'll be slightly there'll be there'll be different um, outcomes. So let's take uh, salesperson A has an income of seven hundred and fifty dollars plus five percent of sales, and then uh, well, let's say an, another uh, option is an income of four hundred and fifty dollars plus nine percent of sales. And again, you know which package is better is the question. This one or this one? Which would you pick? Here you can see that you start off at a higher rate, at a higher income level, but you don't get as much commission, 5%. Here you, you start off lower, but you get a higher commission. So let's just try to understand these a little bit and put some numbers in and see what they tell us. Income is $750 plus 5% of uh, sales. And we change that to an equation where we said the income would be the output is becomes equals 750 plus 5 percent of sales. 5 percent changed to a decimal is 5 per 100, 5 over 100, which is 0 0.05 of means multiply and income would, or sorry, sales would be the input x. Okay, so you have income equals 750 plus 5 percent times x number of sales. And we could you know, do a little input output table and have a look at that. So if our our sales were zero, the um the income would be seven hundred and fifty plus zero point zero five times zero, which would just be seven hundred and fifty dollars, right? If the income was say um or sorry if the if the sorry x is the sales. If the sales was say uh five thousand dollars Income would be 750 plus 0 0.05 times 5,000, which is um, 750 plus 5 times that, um, five, uh, $250, right? And, and this makes 1,000, doesn't it? So sales 5,000, income 1,000. If your sales were $10,000, income would be 750 plus 0 0.05 times 10,000, which is 750, plus 5% um, of 10,000, that times that is actually $500, so the income would be 1,250, and so on, okay? So, having a look at this example, income is $450 plus 9% of sales, so we could say income is output Y, so y is 450 plus 9% is 9 per 100, 9 over 100, which is 0 0.09 of means multiply times number of sales, x. Okay, so if we did a little table, input sales, output income, what happens if we have zero sales? If zero sales, the um, income will be 450 plus 0 .0 0 0.09 times 0, which of course is $450. If our income was say five thousand dollars, the um, uh, uh, sorry, if the sales was five thousand dollars, the the income would be four fifty plus zero point zero nine times five thousand, which is four fifty plus four fifty, and that makes nine hundred dollars, right? If your sales, if you sold ten thousand dollars worth, um, you would get four fifty dollars plus zero point zero. 9 times 10,000, so that's 450 plus uh, 900, which makes 1,350. And so we begin to see a pattern where, okay, on this one you sell nothing, um, you get paid $750, and then you'll see that, well, we'll just, you know what, let's just put up on the graph and we'll be able to examine it closer. But here's our x-axis, this would be, um, sales y-axis that would be income now nicely see but by, by the time th this one starts out better at 750 but if you sell ten thousand dollars worth um, you get less whereas this one you start out at four hundred fifty dollars but if you sell ten thousand dollars worth you get more than this one okay 
So this table has, has increased more than this, so, so that's good because we'll, we'll be able to see a point of intersection now. So if we um, label the graph 0, um, we'll call this say 5,000 and call this um, 10,000 and plot the points oh, and also label the y-axis which is the um, income so it looks like we could go up in 200s, 200, 400, 600, 800, um, 1,000, 1,200, 1,400. Okay, so we've labeled our axes. And if I plot these ordered pairs, x, y, x, y, x, y, um, for this um, income, uh, package if you um, sell zero you get 750 so that's about 700 is about is here so 750 is about here if I sell 5,000 I get a thousand dollars that's right here if I sell 10,000 I get 1250 10,000 1250 is about there okay and then I can just draw a straight line and you know, I could get as many points as I like, but you know, you only need um, two points for a straight line and three to prove that it is a straight line. So this is this is um, package A and package B. If I sell zero, sell, sell nothing, I'll get an income of 450 anyway, which is there. If I sell 5,000, get an income of um, 900, which is there sell ten thousand dollars worth again income of thirteen hundred and fifty which is right underneath fourteen hundred okay so this straight line goes like that so this is package B and the point about it is that package B starts off less, but because of the nine percent, it increases high, at a, at a higher slope or a greater rate. Package A starts off higher, but it increases less because of the five percent of sales. Okay, now, and the point is that there is a point of intersection, and this is the point where, for both packages, the same income or the same level of sales gives the same income okay which from my graph it's approximately eleven hundred dollars um, income with a sales of six thousand seven thousand a sales of um, seven thousand five hundred approximately so I'm just estimating that by hand of course the best example two Income is $250 plus 8% of sales. We could write an equation. Income Y is 250 plus 0 0.08 times um, sales X. Okay. And for this one, uh, and so we could do a little table. Say um, if we sell uh, nothing, we get uh, 250 plus 0 0.08 times 0. We get $250. If we sell... Um, you know, 5,000 worth of product, we get 250 plus 0 0.08 times 5,000, and that amounts to 250 plus um, 400, so we get $650. If we sell 10,000 worth of stuff, we get $250 plus 0 0.08 times 10,000, so that's 250 plus 800, which would be $1,050, right? Whereas this one, the income is $550 plus 0 0.08 times number sales X. And if I just plug some numbers in there, if I sell nothing, I get 550 plus 0 0.08 times 0, I get $550, right? If I sell 5,000 word of product, I get 550 plus 0 0.08 times 5,000, which is 550 plus um, uh, 400. So that is 950. And if I sell 10,000 worth of product, I get obviously 550 plus 0 0.08 times 10,000. So that's 550 plus 800. So that looks like I get 1,300 and 
fifty dollars okay so if we you know plot these points um, we could say zero uh, so if this this axis was 200 uh, 400 600 800 thousand uh, 1200 and so on 1400 and this one was say zero five thousand um ten thousand so zero two fifty would be here uh five thousand six fifty here um ten thousand ten fifty is here so to plot uh, c package c looks like that and package d zero five fifty um five thousand nine hundred fifty and 10,1350 package D looks like that um, and obviously you know without having to calculate that I mean it's nice to calculate it and just to, to see it what it looks like exactly but obviously this one is always three hundred dollars more isn't it no matter what your sales level is, you would always decide that this is the better package because it gives you 550 plus 8 percent instead of 250, 250 plus 8 percent. Okay, so it's always 300 more. And obviously, from the graph, you know, at any point, at any sale, at any amount of sale or sales, the income is always 300 more. And so these lines, of course, are parallel. There's no point of intersection, so there's no solution. So the question is going to be, you know, when are the sales packages equal? So you'll see, you might see a question for what level of um, sales do um, do C and D give the same income? Okay. Uh, so that might be your question. Well, your answer is uh, done. No level of sales. There's no solution. Okay. Um, because D is always um, D is always always gives the higher income. Done. Okay. And obviously, you know, if you put that in your calculator, you would find the same thing, uh, two parallel lines. Okay, so I'm sure you're able to do that.